This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Nihongo Hanashimasu ka? Nihongo Hanashimasen? No electronics in the courtroom, sir. Step outside. Or else. Trouble and not much trust as prosecutors target Grafton resident Bob Constantine. I'd say this was back around early 2011. They attack him for allegedly growing marijuana. I don't think a man's free. Take that away. Objection, He more or less won this case, but there's no reason we can't make it even harder for prosecutors to succeed, and that's exactly what folks in Grafton, New Hampshire, are doing. I guess partially in retaliation for the prosecution of, of uh, Constantine, they've put a Warren article uh, before the, the the town voters. On Saturday, I guess that would be roughly February 8th, 2013, uh, voters will go through a deliberative session where they uh, vote, or at least a, you know look at voting, uh, on this wording. Quote, To see if the town shall notify the voters of Grafton of their natural and historic right and responsibility as jurors, sitting on juries in all cases, including grand juries, to judge the law as well as the facts before them, a right recognized by the state of New Hampshire with the passage of HB 146 and codified as RSA 519 Mark 238, which states that in all criminal proceedings, the court shall permit the defense to inform the jury of its right to judge the facts and the application of the law in relation to the facts and controversy. The information shall be sent by the town to all voters individually via first-class mail and shall be prepared entirely by volunteers. Information which may include pamphlets prepared by the Fully Informed Jury Association, a federally recognized 501c3 organization. All costs shall be paid using voluntarily raised funds. Unquote. Now, that last part is my favorite. But in any case, it looks like the folks in America's freest town are using their town government process to uh, address a very serious problem in American society. They're certainly not going to get anywhere going to their congressman. This goes... Uh, fully informed um, jury activism goes kind of to the heart of the problem, or I guess you could say it's, um, it's a solution to the heart of a problem which strikes at the chink uh, in the, in the uh, government's armor. It only takes one uh, juror, of course, to make a. Uh, only takes one juror to derail a prosecution. I guess is what I'm trying to say. But using the town warrant article process to uh, make this happen is sort of an innovative approach. I hadn't thought of that. And the neat thing is, this can. This is using the town to fight the federal government and the state government uh, in their abuse of the people. <clears throat> now, information about this was posted by John Cannell on nhfree.com, and John is very much into fully informed jury activism, so I don't know if he was a big part of getting this Warren article on the ballot, or I maybe I should say in front of the deliberative session, but I'm glad that he posted this message because it gives me a chance to talk about something else that John Cannell is doing, which is really cool. He runs, as you may be aware, the, the institution known as Peaceful Assembly Church. put up this, uh, okay, I had this idea about three years ago, I did a video about it suggesting, you know, we need a shrine in New Hampshire to, you know, like a memorial to the victims of government violence in New Hampshire. Um, and of course, nothing happened for a while, but uh, I guess around 2012, John Cannell actually put one up. So at P outside Peaceful Assembly Church, right by the road, there's this, and I got some video of it while I was there. There's this uh, shrine to the victims of government violence. This is when he first put it up before, I think, any names were on it. And now it's been improved, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, I just thought that was really cool. And we'll see what happens, or what may have already happened, at the deliberative session on Saturday. I guess check nhfree.com's forum for the latest details on that. Now, I'm assuming the session was or will be delayed because of the weather. Real freedoms are eaten up a little at a time. 
don't know if you're aware of this or not, but uh, there are some pretty scary things happening in this building, the State House in Concord, New Hampshire. We've already amended the Constitution dozens of times. Let's throw it away for a master plan. Fortunately, there is the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. They're fighting back. But what price freedom? But they need your help. They offer free training. They offer courses, ways that you can learn how to be most effective in fighting for liberty inside the State House. Visit nhliberty.org to find out when the next class is. If you take it, you'll be a much more effective voice at stopping these folks from taking away your liberty. Government can't control everything without controlling me. nhliberty.org